The orange and teal look is an extremely popular way of color grading your image, if not the most popular. It's used in everything from photography to huge blockbuster movies like Mad Max, Transformers, and Joker. Pretty much, if you've been on the internet at all or watched a movie in the past 10 years, you have seen this look. I use it all the time in my videos as well as my photos. It's a very widely used look, and that's for good reason. The reason it's so widely used is because skin tones fall right into the orange section of a color wheel, and if you wanted to create contrast with colors, basically making complementary colors, the opposite part of that is going to be blue. So if you use teal and orange together, you're basically creating contrast with your colors, and it creates a very appealing look for your photos and your videos. So in order to do this inside Affinity Photo, the first thing I'm going to do here is just add a curves adjustment layer. We're just going to create a subtle S curve to create some contrast. I'm also going to fade the blacks just a little bit. And we'll close out of that. The next thing we're going to do is come down and hit color balance. And we're going to add a color balance adjustment layer as well. And the first range we're going to adjust is the shadows. So inside the shadows, I'm just going to push a little bit of cyan and blue and maybe just a little bit of magenta as well. Then we'll come up and select our highlights. We're also gonna put just a little bit of blue into the highlights as well. And then lastly, we're gonna come into our midtones and just kind of pump up the reds and yellows so we can get that orange look. And I might add a little bit of magenta in there as well. And now a lot of you might even just stop here. This is just a great subtle teal and orange look that would probably look good on just about any image. But if you want to take things just a little bit further, what we can do is add a channel mixer adjustment layer. And then we can come into the output channel, change it to green. We're going to zero out the green and we're going to put 100% into the blue there. And now this effect is pretty intense. So what we can do is bring down the opacity and just adjust it until we find something that we like. And there you go. With that, you're pretty much done. You have a great looking teal and orange grade to your image. As you can see here, we have a lot more blues in our shadows, definitely shown by our color balance if we turn that off and on. And we still have great looking skin tones and we definitely brought out more red in her hair thanks to that channel mixer. But now that we've done one image, I wanna show you guys on a different image the same process, but with a few other steps that you can do to make the teal and orange look really your own. So of course I'm still going to start with a curves adjustment layer and we're just going to do roughly the same thing and just start out by adding a little bit of contrast and fade the blacks a little bit. Then just like before, we'll come down and hit the color balance and add that. Come into our shadows, we'll push some blue into our shadows here just by adding cyan, blue, and a little bit of magenta. Come into our highlights as well and do roughly the same thing, but this time a little bit more subtle. Something just like that should look fine. Then we'll come into our midtones, and just like before, we'll add a little bit of red into there. And I think that looks pretty much good for right now. You can see the before and after of what we did there. And then we'll do the same thing again with our channel mixer. We'll come down into green, zero out the green, and add 100% into the blue. So now you can really see the effect that we're going for here. But one more thing I'm gonna add to this one is an HSL slider. So if you ever wanna take certain colors and adjust them individually, you can do that with an HSL slider. So basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take our cyans or our blues, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of saturation into them, something like that. And we can also take something like our reds and adjust this here. I'm just gonna make them just a little bit more orange by adjusting the hue of them, just kind of subtly, and also increase the saturation a little bit with that. But we wanna make sure that her skin tones still look pretty natural, and we don't wanna push them too far and make them look, you know, unnatural or sunburnt in this case. So I think something like that is fine, and I think I'm actually gonna increase the saturation as a whole on the image. I think something like that should look pretty much fine. So now you can see the before and the after of everything that we've done here. Basically, it really helps draw your eye right to her because her skin tones are pretty much the only thing that's really popping out at you, thanks to the teal and orange look. You can always come back and adjust these as well, like if you wanted to make those blues a little bit more apparent, you can always come back and adjust that as well. 
Also, you can always come back into any of these layers and adjust the opacity of them to make the effect as strong or as light as you want. But that is pretty much a quick way of getting a teal and orange look inside Affinity Photo. Feel free to take this and run with it however you want. You can definitely come in here to any of these adjustment layers and mix them however you'd like to get your desired look. You can make it as stylized or as subtle as you want. But this is just basically the foundation of the teal and orange look. In most cases, you're just going to want to put some blue into the shadows and bring out the person's skin tone a little bit. And that's pretty much all it is to a teal and orange look. It's a pretty easy to do grade, but because of the color theory behind it, it makes pretty much every image look really good. But that pretty much does it for this video. If you guys have any suggestions on something you'd like me to cover, leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.